So this is the Yerf Dog 3206 GX150 Spider Box. I'll show you some of the mods we did to it. My 12 year old son and I worked on this. We updated the uh, front end, the BDX, heavy duty, A arms, spindles, front brake kit, four by four hubs to accept the um, golf cart wheels that I bought for it. They're 14 inch golf cart wheels with 23 inch tires. Uh, we reinforced the bulkhead along with the neck of the front of the go-kart here. This is prone to breaking off here. <clears throat> we also did the mod on the steering as well. Added a few teeth on each side. Put a trail tech speedometer on there. Roll it ahead a few, little bit. Wake it up. So it'll show you your engine head temp, battery voltage, your distance, and your speed, and your clock. Uh, we also added the uh, control box with USB outlet, light bar, whips. We have a radio in here, an MTX Thunder. Um, MTX Road Thunder. And these uh, pretty cool accent lights for at night. Makes it look pretty sweet. I also have a turn signal switch coming. It's supposed to go in this next spot over. That illuminates all these LEDs up here. And they'll be sequential, so it'll go one, two, three every time you turn the signal on for each side. Light bar. Cut out a American flag sticker and my wife's vinyl cutter. Added the BDX reverse kit. BDX performance exhaust. Mounted the other master cylinder right next to the old one. Actually worked perfect. Teed in the two master cylinders to the reservoir. So that worked out really well. Upgraded the clutch, the spring on the secondary, and the variator is 115 millimeter versus the stock. Um, I don't know the size of the old one, but uh, Makuni carburetor, VM26606, the uni air filter. I'm still trying to find a cover for all this electrical, which I'd like to clean up a little bit better. Um, here's your brake, or your reverse box, sorry, not your brake. Uh, disc brakes back here as well, from stock. Um, we located the uh, battery up here. I did a bigger battery. So the stock one is pretty small, in my opinion. So I've been running that style of battery for a long time. It works pretty well. Um, we got the turn signal lights here. Um, tail light here as well, along with some 24 inch whips. The axle is a 47 inch axle from Buggy Depot, along with a 39 tooth sprocket on the axle. We got two inch spacers on each side of the axle for the width to match up with the front. Also did front uh, spacers as well because the turning of the wheels would almost rub on the frame. I uh, did some uh, seat covers from Summit Racing. They were actually like 30 bucks a piece. They weren't too bad. Kind of dress it up a little bit. And uh, 
bought these four point harnesses, four point harnesses on uh, eBay for 50 bucks, I think. And the MTX Road Thunder, it's actually for a motorcycle and it actually fits right on the stock bar of the uh, go kart. So that out worked out really well. It's really loud, you can hear it over the engine. Um, of course, this top I custom made out of some steel. And uh, maybe in the wintertime, I plan on putting a Lexan windshield on it just for cruising around in the wintertime. Uh, this go kart also has uh, tracks that we homemade um, and skis for the front. So I have to refab them to fit this. But if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer as best I can. Thanks.